These two teams have been the best over the two days. What a cracking final we're in for. We'd come up against England in the quarterfinal and Fiji in the semi-final, which meant we had Canada in the final. Knowing that they're a physical team and a tougher ask, we had to really step it up because we knew that they were going to come at us really hard. Hannah Darling on the outside, gets rid of Woodman, gets up and goes again. Try for Canada. Canada had scored first to make it 7-0, so we were a little bit under the pump first up. But Niall Williams, who's one of the workhorses of the team, uh, spotted an opportunity to kick the ball in front of her and scored a try right on half-time to make it 7-0. Niall Williams is going to score for New Zealand! Just what the doctor ordered! Right after half-time, Canada knew that we were going to be coming at them. Uh, so Gislaine Landry and Jen Kish had a beautiful move out on my side of the field to score right into the corner of Jen Kish. Blythe gets it, just Kish to the corner, Kish is in. We thought straight away that we needed to come back even more. So we had Portia Woodman score a try on the other side of the field, which then brought up a little bit more confidence in us when it was nearly full time. Nathan Wong, and now it's Woodman. Woodman on Williams. The top try scoring female player in sevens gets it done. Right after Porsche scored, we had the kickoff, so we knew straight away that we needed to put the pressure on them and get the ball back. Uh, we had done so, and the siren had just gone for full time, and we had the ball. We knew straight away that we needed to really step up, and we had to make sure that we scored next. Uh, so we had a brilliant play going through the hands and a brilliant carry by Alina Saeli, which then brought more space onto my side through beautiful hands of Sarah Goss and Kelly Brazier to get out onto my side for me to score into the corner. Blood is out here! Blood to the corner! New Zealand have won it! New Zealand won in Japan! And a special moment here in Japan because New Zealand only perform the haka when they win. It was an awesome opportunity for us to be able to show our culture to the Japanese crowd and perform our haka in front of them. It's one of the things that we take pride in and we enjoy being able to do our haka after receiving our gold medals.